Thomas and Bertie. One day, Thomas was waiting at the junction when a bus came into the yard. Thomas said to the bus, Hello, who are you? What's that? Oh, uh, I'm Bertie. Uh, who are you? I'm Thomas. I run this line. Oh, uh, so you're Thomas, are you? Oh, yes. Uh, I remember now. Uh, you were stuck in the snow, didn't you? Uh, I took your passengers and Terence pulled you out, didn't he? Well, I've come to help you with your passengers today. This made Thomas very cross indeed, and he let off steam. Psh, help me! Psh, help me! Psh, oh, wow! I can go faster than you! <laughs> you can't. I can! You can't. I can! All right, I'll race you. The drivers agreed. The station master said, Right. Are you ready? Steady. Go. And they were off. Thomas never could go fast at first, and Bertie drew in front. Thomas was running well, but he didn't hurry. Annie and Clarabel were rather anxious. Why don't you go fast? 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 But Thomas said, Shh, shh, shh. Wait and see, wait and see, shh, 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 wait and see, shh, 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 wait and see. He's a long way ahead, he's a long way ahead. He's a long way ahead, he's a long way ahead. But Thomas didn't mind, he remembered the level crossing. There was Bertie fuming at the gates while they sailed gaily through. Ha <laughs> ha, goodbye Bertie. The road left the railway and went through a village so they couldn't see Bertie. They stopped at the station and Thomas called out, <coughs> Quickly please, quickly please. Everybody got out quickly and the guard whistled <coughs> and off they went. Thomas sang, Come along, shh, shh, come along, shh, shh, come along, shh, shh, come along, shh, shh. And Annie and Clarabel sang, we're coming along, we're coming along. We're coming along, we're coming along. Hurry, 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 hurry. Shh, 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 shh. Hurry, 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 hurry. Shh, 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 shh. Hurry, hurry. Oh. Shh. For there, straight ahead, was Bertie crossing the bridge over the railway, and he was tooting triumphantly on his horn. Ah, 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 ah. Thomas groaned. Oh, bother! Oh, bother! Annie and Clarabel wailed. He's a long way in front. A long way in front. He's a long way in front. A long way in front. But Thomas's driver said, Now steady, Thomas. We'll beat Bertie yet. 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 We'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do it. We'll do it, we'll do it. Oh, bother, there's a station. And as he stopped, he heard something go, Goodbye, Thomas. You must be very tired. Sorry I can't stop. We buses have to work, you know. Ta-ra. The next station was by the river. They got there quickly, but the signal was up. Thomas thought, Oh dear, we've lost now. But he felt better after a drink. Then James rattled through with the goods train, and the signal dropped, showing that the line was clear. Hurrah, we're off! Hurrah, we're off! <laughs> and as they rumbled over the bridge, they heard a very impatient ah, 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 ah. and there was Bertie waiting at the red traffic lights while cars and lorries crossed the narrow bridge in the opposite direction. But as soon as the lights turned green, Bertie was off with a roar and soon he and Thomas were racing side by side up a valley. The passengers in the train 
and in the bus got very excited and started cheering and shouting. And now Thomas reached his full speed and foot by foot, yard by yard, he gained on Bertie till they were running level. Bertie tried hard, but Thomas was too fast. Slowly but surely, he drew ahead till he plunged into a tunnel, leaving Bertie toiling far behind. Thomas was very pleased. Ah, I've done it. Yes, I've done it. I've done it. Yes, I've done it. <laughs> yes, I've done it. So were Annie and Clara Bell. We've done it, hooray. We've done it, hooray. We've done it, hooray. We've done it, hooray. And on they went to the last station. <laughs> The passengers gave Thomas three cheers and told the station master and the porters all about the race. When Bertie came in, they gave him three cheers too. And Bertie said, Phew, that was well done, Thomas. That was fun. But to beat you over that hill, I should have to grow wings and be an aeroplane. Thomas and Bertie now keep each other very busy. Bertie finds people in the villages who want to go by train and takes them to Thomas, while Thomas brings people to the station for Bertie to take home. They often talk about their race, but Bertie's passengers don't like being bounced about like peas in a frying pan, and the fat controller has warned Thomas about what happens to engines who race at dangerous speeds. So although, between you and me, they'd like to have another race, I don't think they ever will.